right? Yeah. Now we have a very special treat for you guys. So guys, I want you guys to enjoy the incredibly talented Miss Michelle Trainer. Divorce Diaries, that's right. Divorce, baby. Are you here on your divorce party? Yeah. No. Let me tell you something. That's right. I get one of two reactions when I tell people I'm divorced. That's right, girl power. That's what I get. I get either the really envious person, you're divorced. I'm not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> he has high blood pressure, high cholesterol, bad kidneys, psoriasis, so I'm hoping. I have a great life insurance plan on him, too. <laughs> or I get like the fake, empathetic, empathetic person, you know, oh, but you're so pretty, you're divorced? Oh, right, you divorced him, oh, okay. Well, you're still young-ish, you know, I'm sure there's somebody, oh, well, he's gonna have baggage, all guys your age, Michelle, have baggage, you know, but I'm sure you can find someone with a pulse. <laughs> I'm a single mom. Any single moms here? Single parents? Yes! Which is why I'm dressed like the slutty babysitter. <laughs> That's right, baby. Top part says PTA. The bottom part says I gotta fuck in the car because my kid's asleep. <laughs> I'm not like your typical school moms, you know? All the school moms are on juice cleanses. I'm on a vodka cleanse. <laughs> That's right, baby. school. You know her? I do everything organic. <laughs> I cook organic. My clothes are organic. My pussy's organic. <laughs> <gasps> Michelle, are you feeding your child munchkins for breakfast? <gasps> no. <laughs> for dinner. <laughs> that shit was left over for breakfast and I'm not gonna waste it. <laughs> Did you know that sugar can cause autism? Did you know that stupidity can cause violence? <laughs> my ex-husband introduced a new girlfriend to my daughter by having his girlfriend's daughter and my daughter sleep in the same bed together. Oh. And then the next day they took a bath together. Oh. I was like, wait a minute, you can't have any more playdates when you have Grace. He's like, you can't tell me who to bring around our daughter. I was like, fair enough. You can't call the cops on me when I stab you in your face. <laughs> I'm also a teacher. <laughs> I teach kids with special needs, and I date men with special needs. <laughs> yes. I, I have a thing for Hispanic guys. Wepa! But I can't. Wepa! Let's go hear it up! Wepa! Poppy right here in the front! Wepa! Let me tell you something, not just any Hispanic guy, it's gotta be a big, burly, Latin guy from the street. That's right. He's got to look like machete in order for me to fall in love. <laughs> you know, the kind of guy who can serenade me in Spanish while choking me while we're making love. <laughs> that kind of guy. You know, guys, we have the Chippendales guys here tonight, and I want to know like, why some of my exes, it didn't work out, and they are going to play some of my exes. Do you want to meet some of my exes? Yeah. I mean, guys here to play some of my exes. Come on out, guys. We got the cop, the coach. Come on out. Give it up for our Chip and Neils guys. Come on. Okay. Who would you like to hear from first? The coach or the cop? The cop? Alright, let's bring out the cop. Listen, we dated for seven months and I always called him my boyfriend, but you never called me your girlfriend. We were, all, we were always just chilling. I don't understand. Was it because I, you know, texted all those things? Look, I stopped texting the hateful stuff. It was all persuasive essays in the form of a text message. I checked with my attorney. Nothing could be held against me in court. I mean, all you ever want to do was turn me around and bend me over. What's, do you not want to look at me? Like, how can you make this up to me? How? How can you protect and serve? Oh, oh, okay. I forgive you. You can arrest me anytime. I promise I won't text you late at night. Give it up for the cop, everybody. Yes, he can always protect and serve all of us here. But let's hear from the coach. Let's bring the coach yeah. in. He is, yes, he coaches football, baseball, basketball, street hockey, field hockey, girls' soccer, brownies. <laughs> he 
great coach and we had a really great relationship for a year and a half. We had the best intimacy, physical, emotional. Have you ever had that relationship? Like I thought he was the one, but his wife thought otherwise. Oh. And I know, like, oh my gosh, I was like, wait, so, so does this mean it's not gonna work for the three of us? <laughs> how can we how can we fix this? How can how can you make it up to me, coach? the younger guy. Let's bring down the younger guy. Yes. <laughs> what went from a fling to a two-month relationship, I thought he was going to be the stepfather, like Ashton Kutcher, Demi Moore, you know, then years later, he'll leave me for another woman to have a real family. That kind of thing. But then, I, look, we went to all the keggers together. That was your rugby games. And then you just, like, you disappeared. Your phone went, I tried calling you, everything. Your phone went dead. Like, I thought you something happened to you. What happened? I know. You know what? How are you? What are you gonna? You know what? That's it. Take off your shirt and give me ten. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. All right. That's it. You have to go back to class. Give it up for the younger guy. Well, can we give it up for our Chippendales guys for playing my exes? dating a new guy though but I haven't heard from him in like five days right that's not a good sign but I'm gonna text him and I need your advice what should I text him like should I write what the fuck is up no what if, should I send him a nude yeah. yes. <laughs> do it or like an emoji face of like a wing face what should, guys what should I do what should I do what should I do? What should I do? Help me. Hey, Michelle, I got an idea. Yes, okay, what's the idea, Jay? How about we send this new boyfriend a video of you having the best fucking night here at Chippendales in Las Vegas? Yes! I think so. Do you guys want to be in this video for her boyfriend? Yeah! Alright, I want everyone in this room to stand up on your feet. Everyone, come on, get up on your feet. Stand up, stand up. And on the count of three, I'm gonna say happy National Divorce Day. And you're gonna say fuck that guy. Yeah? I think you'll love that video. What do you think, Michelle? I think I'll love it personally. Okay, are you guys ready? One, two, three. Happy National Divorce Day! Fuck that guy! Yeah! Happy National Divorce Day from all of us here at Chippendales in Las Vegas. One more time, make some noise for the beautiful, the talented, and the funny Michelle Trina. She's got some good tips. I'm about to start doing that shit. I'm about to not text anyone back.